All right, so for this lesson, um, I'm going to go through signing up for Goose, uh, Google Docs and Lucid Charts. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want, but I'm going to show you some things that um, will help with your flow charts. And um, Google Docs is just a really um, powerful tool that's being used at um, our school. So um, once you guys sign up for a Google account, um, you know, you'll get a Gmail account. And every time you go to Google, you can log into this uh, Google app. So they've got a bunch of different apps, okay? Um, Docs is basically like Microsoft Word, only it's a little bit dumbed down. Sheets is like Excel. Um, slides is like PowerPoint. Um, but let me just show you guys something real quick. If I go into my drive, I'll just show you a document real quick that um, my team and I have been working on so far this year. So every time we meet, we fill out this uh, um, this document, and every, and it's it's nice because it's shared with everybody, and so we can all actually type on this thing at the same time. This is um, huge for 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 meetings. I know that. Um, uh, you guys are all online students, and so I don't know if you guys have to have group meetings um, and there's people in different states um, and possibly even different countries, and you're not going to be able to meet um, and have like an hour-long meeting at a Starbucks or whatever, so you're going to have to meet um, remotely where you're all in your different places, and so what can happen is you guys can all be on the phone with each other, <clears throat> And as long as your doc is shared amongst each other and you share it by um, your email addresses, okay? And so um, you guys can all get on here and work on this at the same time. So it's hugely powerful and really nice. Um, and what's nice with Google Docs is once, or not, not Google Docs, but once you have a Google account, um, there's a bunch of other apps that are being built everywhere and one of them is this one called a lucid chart and so I would highly suggest using this when you guys are creating your flow charts um, for this class um, you know if you're gonna create a, a flow chart in Word um, you know you've got to do a lot of different things and it's kind of dumpy you gotta go to uh, what is it design uh, no, sorry, insert. You got to look for shapes. And then you find your shape that you want. Well, there's not a diamond shape. Is there? Oh, no, nope, there is right here. So you create your diamond shape. And then you got to go in and you got to insert text. Um, <clears throat> where's text at on here? You got to actually put an insert text box in here. And you throw that in there and you're doing all this stuff. And it's really kind of a pain, okay? And so then you do that, and then um, you know you got to put your arrows in and that like that. And so, and this isn't very user friendly because maybe I want to draw my arrow and move it around. Um, and so a lot of a lot of students, for whatever reason, want to be stuck on Word, and it's not a very good tool for your for your um, flow charts. Let me show you guys. Um, lucid chart so if you log in again remember what I was saying with Google it once you get your Google account most of these uh, um, applications that are popping up lucid chart being a like they almost specifically designed it for engineers because they have to go through um, flow charts but once you log in you can log in or once you can you can create um, um, a login but I log in with my Google account um, it's linked to my Google account. Um, let's see here. Come on. And it might just log me in automatically because I'm already logged in through Google. So that's a nice thing too. Um, see mcle5 at cherrycreekschools.org. That's my email for uh, Eagle Crest. And so it just logs me right in. Now, um, you know, a lot of this is just real similar to you know anything that you've done if you want to create a new document um, well let me show you first of all this is one of the this is one of the um, flowcharts I made for one of the videos right um, 
Oh, come on, hurry up. As an example to show you guys, I think this might be my rock, paper, scissor flow chart. Oh, no, uh -uh. it's just, what does this one do? Housekeeping, okay, so it's something with a model name. You got a detailed loop. So basically, what I want to show you is watch, watch how nice this is. So I delete that. Okay, if I want to use this, I, I, I don't just click it. I have to click and drag it over, right? But I can put this here, right? And then I can, you know, point it towards that one. So then I can, oh, come here. Just drag that over. And so basically what's happening is um, right here I go to the housekeeping uh, method, which is I believe just um, let's see here just this stuff right here where it's defining your variables okay and then we check to see if the model name is not equal to quit if that's yes then we go to the detail loop and the detail loop is down here so all you do is just click and drag this stuff on and you got your text it's really easy to use and then what's nice too is then once you're done you can just click share and then you can either put my email address in or see up here anyone with the link can edit and share okay and there's different things you can you can allow somebody to have rights to just to edit and share it you can just allow them to comment so like maybe you just want uh, to have me look at this and I could then comment on it and say well this is a good or this is bad but you don't want to give me rights to to write over it I often give my students the ability to view my information but I don't allow them to edit because you know some of the young kids might think it's funny to delete my information so I don't allow them to edit it I just allow them to view it and so you could you could just say hey anyone uh, with the link can view it and then you can click on the link and email me that link and then I can open it up quickly and grade your um, flowchart for this class so this tool should help save time when you're creating your flow charts, all right? This is much easier than Microsoft Word, and I highly re recommend you sign up for it, especially you engineering students um, that are gonna have to be doing this a bunch in future classes. So um, this video is short and sweet, but sign up for Lucid Charts. It's free, I think you can make up to three documents as a student without having to, um, pay a fee for it and so what you can do then is just you can save these files on your computer and then um, delete them on here and you can just keep creating documents as many as you want okay does that make sense um, so you can really create as many as you want and it's free service so all right talk to you bye